Hi year three and year four. Welcome back to school after half term. I hope you had a lovely relaxing break. Today, I'm going to launch you into your brand new literacy topic. For the next two weeks, you are going to be focusing on writing instructions. Pause the video and think about what are instructions? Did you remember? That's right. Instructions are used to tell our reader how to make or do something. The instructions you are going to be writing over the next two weeks are going to tell your reader how to make a monster pizza. At the end of the unit, you'll even get to write a party invitation to invite your monsters to come and eat the pizzas too. You'll be looking at lots of different skills this unit, so today I'm going to remind you of a few of them in case you get stuck along the way. The first one is a skill you should remember from year one and year two. Imperative verbs. Can you remember what imperative verbs are? That's right. Sometimes we call them bossy verbs and that's because we use them in command sentences. They tell our reader what they need to do. For example, some of the imperative verbs you might use in your monster pizza instructions are chop, cut, gather, slice. Can you think of any others? Wow, I bet you thought of lots of imperative verbs that you're going to use in your monster pizza recipes. The next skill that you're going to come across is suffixes. You might recognise this word from some of your spelling lessons. Suffixes are letters that we place at the end of a word that change the meaning of them. You will focus on two key suffixes in this unit. You'll find out what they are later in your lessons. And the final skill that I'm going to talk to you today about are time adverbials. I know that you know lots of time adverbials already. They tell your reader when to do something. Pause the video and think of some time adverbials that you already know. Well done. Did you think of lots of different ones? You might have things such as after that, before you put the pizza in the oven, once the pizza is cooked, and lots of others that I can't wait to see in your instruction writing. There are a few more things that you're going to hear about in this unit as well. Some of them include past and present tense, singular and plural verbs. Singular is when it's one, plural is when it is more than one. And you're also going to look at lots of different vocabulary for disgusting food. That might give you a clue about the kind of monsters you're going to be inviting to this party. Make sure you do every single lesson from this unit. If you miss one, you need to go back and watch the video. You don't want to miss anything out for your final instructions. At the end of the unit, you'll write your instructions and your party invitation. On your daily emails, you can send us your writing so your teachers can see them. And at the end of the unit, we'd love to see your final instructions and perhaps even hear you read them on your class soon. Focus really hard on this unit at home and listen to all of those skills that you've got to include. We can't wait to see your final work. Enjoy!